<laughs> Hi guys, I'm Liz Bunsen. I'm from Bellevue East. <laughs> and my poem is called The Beautiful Kelsey Golding. A girl who was bullied for so long felt the need to give up, not only on life, but the possibility of it ever getting better. A girl who took one last look into the room around her and decided that she was not good enough to be in it, she decided to take one last breath in this world. A girl who never got to walk down the aisle or even graduate high school. Thank you so much, bullies, for hurting a girl so much that she had to do this to all of us. And now that lover that awaited all of his life to meet her never gets to kiss the permanently embedded scars into her skin. And tonight, I'll avenge the death of this innocent girl as my pencil touches the paper of these words that I hope you'll understand that the suicide rates, they are because of you. And tonight, if you are in this room and you're feeling that deep, dark storm inside yourself and you're thinking about ending the only beautiful pulsating beat inside of yourself, don't. If you think that you're not good enough, you're not perfect, you are never gonna be good enough for the rest of us, I can tell you and I promise that you're good enough to me and I love you. And I know that you know pain. I know that you know what it's like to be hurt because you are a perfect human being. Trust me, I know. My arms and legs are filled with the scars of other people's words. My eyes and ears filled with the echoes of their words. I'm not being able to erase anything like I can erase the words from the pages and tear them apart. I've wanted to erase my story, but I can't. You only get one chance at life and you have to make it right. Live life to the fullest. And even though it sounds completely cliche, it's okay. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to love and be loved by many. So please, take my advice. Smile, because you'll never know who will fall in love with it. And if you feel like there's no one there for you, I'm here, waiting, right next to you, with my hand.